Hey Wayne, so we're gonna break down your maintenance process with an employee. How fast do you want to finish this? Uh, an hour. That's All the goal. Right. You but got 40 minutes I, left. But since I was taking phone calls because mm. my wife left the store and um, I have somebody else taking uh, charge of the store right now that's new, it's kind of pulling me to the side. So I've already lost like 15 minutes, really. So I'm mm. kind of already behind. Hey, how come it's an hour? Why not an hour and a half or two hours? Why not? Oh, well, with the maintenance, it's already been maintained. So it's not as hard when you come in the next time. So if they're getting it every two weeks and you're coming back and it's still extremely dirty, then that's just the kids and they're going, they're getting active. But normally in two or three weeks, it's not as dirty as it was when you first cleaned it. Got it. So you should be able to come in with a simple wipe down, quick vacuum, but this one is a little bit more dirty than usual because she signed up almost a month later and we still offered her the maintenance. So this is pretty much kind of more of a detailed. But then the next time I come, every two weeks I believe she is, it'll be easier every time. Then I'll throw on some protection to make the wash and all that stuff easier. But the process is the same as anything else. Come in, air, blow, air, air compressor everywhere, knock everything down. Me and my brother wipe down everything. And then after the wipe down, vacuum. After the vacuum, we're headed to the rims, from the rims to the body. Uh, throw some protection on there, some bead maker, um, some sealant from turtle wax, whatever kind of protection. And then the next time I come in, easier each time. But each car you do, it's a different system because of the, you know, the dirtiness. They got, she, I think she has a couple kids. So each time it may take a little bit more time, but we'll have a tactic each time when we come, oh, it's this one. All right, remember what we did last time. So it's a different system for each, you know, each car. Got it. So right now it's a wipe down. What are you using? Ha <laughs> ha, I don't want to say. <laughs> Something that's cooking, man. Something that's cooking. But other than this right here, um, I'm using Express. Express, Express interior for plastics and leather, but I got something that um, I have being made. I got so I got a whole line cooking up, man, just to let y'all in on something that's going on. Oh, so, so you're kind of just testing it out right now. Um, yeah. So I, I I'm gonna tell them according to what I like. Like, hey, I need more suds. I need a different smell. I need this. So I'm building it according to uh, what I want. Pretty oh, much. So so stay so stay tuned for the for the future products. Yep. Stay tuned for the future products. The whole full line, I'm coming in hard with, with everything. Spray wax, rim cleaner, tire shine, everything, man. Stay tuned. Okay, so you're gonna get a spray wax, which is gonna be your standard protection. Um, if you wanna take it to the next level, then that's gonna be your full on six months to a year protection. And that's more of a longer process, iron decontamination, clay bar in it to smooth out the paint. And then, yeah. Okay, we'll update you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Huh? New customer? Uh, yeah, somebody just booked. How did he hear about you? Google. Google. He said I popped up first. Damn, <laughs> Google's, man. I just uh, returned his phone call. Hmm. He said, uh, you're the only one that called me back. He had a hard time getting a hold of any detailer. But I can see why, you know, we get busy. Yo, Wayne, you got 25 minutes left. That's not gonna happen, <laughs> see? When my receptionist leaves, Person at the cash register, this is this is what I'm doing now. So how do you balance your maintenance at this moment? Does he know what to do or he only knows, or does he only do certain parts and you do certain parts? He knows what to do, everything inside. It's the exterior that he needs help with, um, knowing what protection to put on according to the situation. So every car, it varies. So he can finish the whole inside, but I'll be ready for him in about five minutes after closing out with this appointment hey Wayne do you always do the inside first or depends um yeah for the most part um only time I'll go on the outside is if the conditions like if it's too cold outside mm. um or if I'm trying to beat the heat I'll do the outside first so it all depends on the weather for me oh okay all right hey Wayne yes sir can you break down what you're doing right now 
Okay, so I'm using Magic Wheel Cleaner. I got a, I mean, I got a store, so I'm using everything, trying everything so that I could better assist you guys in the store. So I make it simple. I spray it on, I rinse it off. These rims aren't bad to where I have to do all the agitating and all that stuff. Find something strong enough to where you can spray on, rinse off. And then I hit it with the tires. Only thing I'm gonna be agitating is the tires. This isn't difficult. I wanna make it very simple, especially for a maintenance. Rinse off. Done. Now I'm gonna get tire cleaner. Rinse that. Then I'll come into here. Remember, this is a maintenance. You can't be here for 15 minutes scrubbing the tire. Maintenance is maintaining the car. It's pretty much already clean. That's a wrap, that's it. Repeat all around. So what I'm gonna do, Rez, for this maintenance is um, I'm stripping their paint down. I'm gonna do a quick strip. I'm not gonna iron decontaminate it, but I'm going to uh, make sure I strip it with the degreaser and put some type of protection on here, even though that she didn't pay for, you know, a ceramic sealant or anything. It's my job as the maintenance to keep it protected. Maybe one day she might want a full out ceramic coating, put some wax on it, but I'm gonna still keep it protected because that's all included in the maintenance. What type of soap are you using? Um, so this is the greaser and Meguiar's. I don't know the exact brand, but I switch it up so much. I got like six, seven different soaps, you know? Yeah. I don't remember the exact brand though. No. I got you, man, I got you. Hey Wayne, so I know some people, they foam it, rinse it, and then foam it again and then scrub it. Is that what you're doing? That's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm letting it sit on the paint, break up all the dirt and grime first, and then I'll rinse it, and then foam it again like you said, and then going for the contact wash. How, yep. come, how come people do that method? Well, I mean, if you foam it, remember that dirt that was on the body, you're gonna scrub it in. And you're gonna mar, you're gonna scratch the whole paint up and that's how you get swirls. So, at least, you know, put up some foam and rinse off the dirt, because the foam is gonna grab the dirt. So, I got you. Yes, sir. All right, cool, cool. Hey, and I noticed you and your employee, your brother, Jabari, mm -hmm. he doesn't even communicate. It's like you guys know exactly what to do. Right. How did it get to that level? After a week, first day, took a while. Uh, me and him already been doing janitorial work for our dad. He would leave us buildings. So it's just kind of like, probably like after a couple weeks, he we got it. Just, we've already been cleaning. <laughs> gotcha. And he don't like to talk, so you better pick up on stuff fast. <laughs> Uh, spraying bean maker on the car. And then that's it, just drying it? the bottom part too? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're drying it and then we're gonna do the rims. Go back and in inside, make sure everything's good and then we're done. How's the maintenance going, Wayne? Uh, it's going, it's, uh, I'm invested, even though it took a lot more time. Um, it's still a reoccurring customer, so it's not gonna do nothing but make my job easier for the next one, so. If I, if I start looking at it like, wow, I fell way, way behind, then 
of course that causes stress and anxiety. So at this point I'm relaxed. I feel good. This is their first reoccurring appointment right here. So from this day forward, it's gonna be easier. Gotcha. So I wouldn't even call this a maintenance anymore. This first one was the detail. All right, Wayne. So what are the finishing touches? Door seals, tire shine, windows. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Yes, sir. And then at the end of the detail. Right. Do you message the customer? Do you call them to come outside? Do you leave? What do you do? I do everything that you just said. Whatever wow. according to our relationship that we built, um, they'll let me know oh, it's in the app. Um, just go ahead and close out when you finish. Some people I message and some people I call. And some people I can't get a hold of and I get paid two, three days later. It all depends on who the person is. Does that happen? It happens all the time. Well, because you trust them and you've done the car several times? You know what? I'm somebody decides not to pay me or something happens, that's, that's between them and God. So mm. if I already wrote my message and they didn't pay me, like I said before, I'm not gonna stress about it. So I write them, invoice them, and just wait patiently. Yes, sir. God. I've had people that didn't pay me a whole month later. Is it because, did you send them a reminder or they just randomly sent you the payment? I think sometimes people do things that they shouldn't be doing. <laughs> and they're in situations and then they take advantage of you and, mm. and then pay you later. I got so, you. It's been a couple people. I say about three people out of my two years and some change where I haven't gotten paid at all. And um, it's rare, but it happens. It's a part of business, I guess, sadly. Let me know if you guys uh, went through some situations where you guys didn't get paid. And, how did you guys handle it? Did you let it go? How much was it? Hey, Wayne. Yep. I know a lot of people have trouble with windows. Right. The streaks. Right. Seems like you got it down. Well, I mean, if the sun's not out, it's really no problem. No, no I still have problems too. Um, whenever you're in the sun, you really have to be strategic on how you clean them. And sometimes you'll use one method and it won't work on that window and you have to switch it up. I have a variety of different things, two towels, um, prep. Um, sometimes I'll clean it, steam clean it. Sometimes I'll clean it with a cleaner, express. Like it's like different methods. Sometimes there's film on the glass from smoking. So depending on what's on the window, hands or whatever, you just got to figure out your system. Cause I've tried multiple things and it didn't work. You just got to figure out what works for you really. And what chemicals, I'll use two different chemicals. Like sometimes I'll use this, I'll spray this, and then I'll follow up with a uh, paint prep or something. Mm. And a lot of people use the same towel for all the windows and then they'll be extremely dirty and, and be smearing stuff in more than cleaning it. But this one was really clean, bro. So didn't really have to worry too much about the windows. All right, that's my step-by-step -step maintenance detail even though it turned into like a full on out detail. Um, this customer hasn't been servicing almost a month. So I ran into them kids going to work. So the next time I come back in two weeks, it's gonna be easier and easier. But um, if you guys have any advice, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. And um, just like I said before, each vehicle is different and I know how you go about it is gonna be different for each customer. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Catch y'all on the next video.